Hey, what is going on guys? So I just got my Tackstar shotgun mic in here. And what I'm gonna do in this video is a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna do some testing with this on my Canon Rebel T6i, AKA 750D. Now the first thing I wanna note is the reason why I bought this is because there was another video out and it compared this mic here, a $25 mic versus a $300 Rode Video Mic Pro. And in the video, this was quite comparable to the $300 mic. So I went on, I bought it, and then I started looking on YouTube videos. So I saw another YouTube video where the guy had a similar DSLR as this one here. Again, this is a uh, T6i or AKA 750D. The thing with these Canon Rebel Ti models, the audio is abs the onboard audio is absolutely horrible. And in his video where he put this onto his uh, Canon Rebel T model, the auto quality using this was so bad, he was better off using the built-in mic on this Canon DSLR, which is still absolutely horrible. So again, quick unboxing, and then I'm gonna do some testing with this Tackstar shotgun mic on my Canon Rebel T6i. So why don't we go ahead and get right into it. Now those other two YouTube videos that I just talked about, I'm gonna go ahead, if I can find those videos, I'll go ahead and put it in the link below, okay? So anyway, so here's the, uh, box that it comes with you see the model number here is the SGC-598 and this is the box here show you the sides here so let's go ahead and open this up we can see we get like a little baggie which I don't even care for get a instructions manual product quality product certified certificate. I don't know, we'll see. And we'll go ahead and pull this out. And what is this in here? Oh, wow, they actually supply you with a AA battery. I didn't even know that. And we have uh, something else going on here. So anyways, looking at the actual shotgun Tackstar mic here, we can see we have a shoe mount here, which is gonna go directly onto my DSLR right here. We have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And we have a few buttons here. Right here we have a bass filter switch. Basically it can reduce like ambient noise. We have a sensitivity button here, which is plus 10 dB decibels or zero, just one or the other. And we have your on off switch. And I'll just give you a better look how this looks here. And let's just go ahead and put it on my T6i here, just to give you like an idea what it looks like on here. Well, there you go. That's what it looks like on there. And on this DSLR, my mic jack is actually on the left-hand side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off this hook on the right side here. I'm gonna swing it around. And I guess I can just put it right into here. All right, that's good enough like that. And then I can go ahead and plug it right into my mic jack right here, just like that. All right, so this video test, what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna go ahead and do an audio recording using my T6i built-in audio alone. And then from there, we'll start playing around with this Tackstar shotgun mic. And I'll be starting off with the uh, zero sensitivity here. And then later on during the video, I'll go ahead and pop it up to plus 10 dB. So first thing is this, let me go ahead and turn this on, put it up to mic. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on to manual for M right here. Then if I look at my viewfinder here, I'm gonna press on menu. And then for menu, I have to go one, two, three, four, five. So the fifth one, you can see where it says sound recording here. Let me go ahead and tap on that. And I'm gonna put it on manual. I can put it on auto or manual. I'm gonna go with a manual here. And we can see the recording level here. And what I'm gonna do with the recording level, I'm gonna start off at three quarters and then I'm gonna go down to like half and then one quarter and then I'm gonna go all the way down to like one eighth. Okay, so I'm gonna start right about here at three quarters. So right now I'm using the onboard mic on my DSLR. It's set to automatic, so make sure you hear this. The recording level is three quarters of the way up and the dB is set to zero. Now I have the recording level set at the halfway point. And again, the dB is at zero. Now I have the recording level set at one quarter, 25% of the way, and the dB is set at zero. So 
So right now the recording level is set at 1 8th, basically between 0 to the 25% mark and dB again is at 0. So now the dB is at plus 10 and the audio recording is at 3 quarters of the way. The dB is set at plus 10 and the audio recording is set at the halfway mark. Again, dB is set at plus 10 and the audio recording is set at 1 8th or 25% right now. dB is set at plus 10 and the audio recording is set at 1 8th. So you guys heard those samples and in my opinion, the best one was the last one where the dB was set to plus 10 up here and under the sound recording under manual where the recording level was set to like 1 8th right there. Now the only thing is, is my voice is really, really low, but it kind of like cut out that background noise. However, let me show you what I did to improve it in post edit. Now let me go ahead and show you my editing program here. Okay, so this last clip is actually right here. I made a duplicate right here, but this last one here was when I had the um, Tac Star mic at uh, 1 8th of the way up on the recording uh, volume and it was set to plus 10 dB okay now the only thing is when I play this my voice is very very low so what I did on this second clip here after post edit let me go ahead and double click this and by the way I'm using a um, vi video editing software called Wondershare Filmora this is a very very basic editing uh, platform so I'm sure every other editing platform has this option which is right here let me go into audio and then you see where it says volume here. Generally, everything is set in the middle. But for this last clip, I just go ahead and increase the volume all the way to the max. And I go ahead and then I went on and pressed OK. So right now, I want you to hear the difference between these last two clips here uh, before edit and after the edit. And let me know your thoughts. And in my opinion, definitely this last one here after post edit, after increase the volume uh, with the uh, plus uh, 10 db and the recording level at 1 8th i think that's the best i think it's definitely better than the built-in mic so this tax star is definitely workable for me uh, let me know your opinions on this one all right thanks guys db is set at plus 10 and the auto recording is set at 1 8th db is set at plus 10 and the auto recording is set at 1 8th